Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. My name is Autumn and I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, occasional product reviews and recipes, and other fun videos all about the ketogenic diet. I've been following the keto diet since September 1st, 2017, and over that time I've lost over 70 pounds. I post YouTube videos all about my experience on the ketogenic diet and the number one question I get without a doubt has to center around macros. Everyone wants to know, what are macros? What are your macros? How do you calculate macros? What, are, what app are you using? So I want to make this video today all about macros. Before we get into it, couple of disclaimers. Number one, I am not a doctor, okay? Your girl's got 18 zillion jobs. Medical professional is not one of them, okay? This is not medical advice. This is simply an anecdote for someone who has had a particular experience. That's me, I'm the someone. Secondly, what I'm about to tell you and what I want to tell everyone, I wanna shout it from the rooftops. This way that I'm gonna show you is what I did and what worked for me, but that does not make it the right way. It makes it the way that worked for me. If you watch this method and you're like, oh no, that would not work for me. More power to you, okay? I'm just telling you what worked for me. This is not the only way. There is no right or wrong way. The right way is the one that yields the results you're looking for and makes you an overall healthier person. Thirdly, it's not all or nothing. You don't have to get it right the first time. If you use this guide and calculator to calculate your macros and it gives you some numbers and you eat at those macros for a couple of weeks and you don't lose weight, you know what you can do? You can adjust. You can switch, you can change it up. You can always keep experimenting to see what works for you. So don't get so caught up in having to have the right or perfect numbers the first time. Do your best to guesstimate, pick a place to start, give it some time and go from there. And I stress, give it some time. Don't eat at these macros for three days and then wonder why you haven't lost 10 pounds and think that you're doing something wrong, okay? I say two weeks, give it two weeks and then adjust from there. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's hop right into it. Number one, what are macros? You guys, macros simply refer to the three main macronutrients, and those are fat, carbs, and protein. So when you hear someone say, I need to calculate my macros, what they're really saying is, I need to calculate how many grams of fat, how many grams of protein, and how many grams of carbs I should be eating a day to reach my goal. If that goal is weight loss, if that goal is building muscle, if that goal is reducing inflammation, it can be for any goal. But basically it just means figuring out how much of each macronutrient to eat every day to achieve that goal. Another question I get all the time is, what app do you use to calculate or track your macros? Well, if you know anything about your girl, you know that she loves a good Excel spreadsheet. I don't use an app to track my macros or to calculate my macros. I actually built a calculator using Excel. Spoiler alert, I'm making that available to you. What? Oh my gosh. That's right guys, I am making the calculator that I use to calculate my macros available on my website, www.watchautumnketo.com. It is a very simplistic but useful tool that will help you calculate your basal metabolic rate, choose a calorie target, and from there, get your macros based on your preferred macronutrient ratio. One thing I wanna tell you before I jump into showing you how to use it is that for me, calories are king, okay? I am a hardcore believer in calories in, calories out. A lot of people on the keto diet will tell you, calories don't really matter, just eat low carb and eat keto and you'll lose weight, calories don't matter anymore. If that's how you lost weight, good for you, okay? I can't do that. I need to be able to keep track of the amount of calories that I'm eating. So that is what I base my macro calculations off of. That is the number one assumption moving forward. And if you don't believe that calories matter in terms of losing weight, then you will not find my calculator very useful. But enough of that, I wanna hop right into the tutorial. We're gonna go over to the document. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do, exactly how I use it. This is literally how I have lost weight. I have calculated my basal metabolic rate, AKA the amount of calories I burn at rest. I then choose a calorie target to eat at a deficit. And from there, I use that calorie target to calculate my macros. I will walk you through that entire process step by step and it starts now. Okay guys, so this is the macro calculator that I have built. 
Now I calculate my macros solely based on the number of calories that I am going to be eating in order to lose weight. And in order to find the number of calories that I want to eat, I base that off of my BMR or my basal metabolic rate. Your BMR is basically a calculation based on your height, your weight, and your age that approximates how many calories your body burns at rest or how many calories it takes your body to function. As in, if you just woke up and laid in bed all day and didn't move, how many calories would your body burn? The formula for calculating your BMR is pretty stagnant and you can find it anywhere on the internet. I put where I got the formula listed above right here. Uh, so this just goes to show this information is available if you want to calculate it yourself. Um, but I have built some formulas here to do that work for you. This also goes to show that this is a stagnant formula. It is one size fits most. This will not give you the exact amount of calories that you are burning, especially if you are extremely muscular or extremely obese. So when we go through the calculations, I want to give you some guidelines to follow. However, this will give you the approximate amount of calories that you're burning a day. So to start, I want to enter my height in inches. If you don't know how to calculate your height in inches, there are Google calculators that will help, or you can just take the number of feet tall you are times 12 that will convert it into inches and then add how many inches you are on top of that. So for instance, I am five foot 10, five times 12 is 60 and 10 inches added onto that is 70. So I'm 70 inches tall. My weight, let's just say hypothetically <laughs> right now, I am 180 pounds and then my age is 33. You'll notice when I fill in those numbers, the values under the BMR calculate and we see here we have values for men and women. This model assumes that men generally burn more calories than women. So the BMR will always be slightly higher for a man given the same input. But what I want you to pay attention to here is 1612. So what this calculator is telling me is that my body burns approximately 1612 calories at rest. Meaning if I didn't do anything, I would still burn 1600 calories a day. So for me, I like to start off eating at my basal metabolic rate because unless you actually do lay in bed all day, you will definitely burn more calories than listed in your BMR. Even if you work a desk job, getting up and walking from your chair to the bathroom, walking from the parking lot into your office, these are all things that burn calories. So you will definitely burn more than the base number listed here. Keeping in mind that if you are extremely overweight, this number may be inflated. So there are a couple of guidelines that I've liked to follow. If you are a woman and you get a value over 1800, I would bring my calorie target down to 1800. If you are a man and you get a value over 2000, I would recommend lowering it to 2000. And this just ensures that you are not going to be overeating based on this basic formula. So for a woman starting to lose weight, I would never go over 1800 calories. And for a man, I would never go over 2000 calories. And that's just because at 1800 calories, you're going to feel satisfied and also it will ensure that you're most likely not overeating. You can also see here that I've added an input area for centimeters and kilograms and it will calculate your BMR here as well. Now that we have our approximate BMR, it is time to determine our calorie target. So what that means is that this number tells us how many calories our body burns at rest. Now it is up to us to determine how large of a deficit we want to eat at. My general rule is to start eating at your BMR calories. And the thought behind that is if I'm burning 1600 calories, just laying in bed, I don't have the luxury of just laying in bed all day. So I do have to get up and go to work and move around. I do exercise. 
So I am definitely burning more than this BMR. So if I'm eating at my BMR, I am in a calorie deficit. If I'm in a deficit, I should be losing weight. I also like to start out eating at my BMR because this gives me the most calories to work with when I start to taper down. So if I eat at 1600 calories for a month or two and I'm losing weight, when I get to that third month and my weight loss seems to stall, now I can lower it down to 1550 or 1500 calories. As I continue to lose weight, when it stalls, maybe I can go to 1450. If you already start at 1200 calories, there's nowhere to go. You might lose weight quickly, but pretty soon your body will adjust to the number of calories that you're eating and you'll stop losing weight, but there's really nowhere to go. I definitely recommend never eating fewer than 1200 calories. That's just the bare minimum for your metabolism to function at a healthy rate, in my opinion. Okay, now that we have our BMR, it's time to enter our calorie target. For me, I just round down to the nearest 100, so if my BMR says 1612, I want to start off eating 1600 calories a day. Notice when I entered my calorie target, some things started happening over here in the macro breakdown section. My calorie target was transferred over to the macro breakdown section. From here, this is where we can play with our macro ratios. Remember, your macros are simply a ratio of where you are getting your calories from. The ketogenic diet generally recommends that 70 to 75% of your calories come from fat, 20 to 25% of your calories come from protein, and 5% come from carbs. That being said, I have built it here so that you can play with your macro ratios depending on how you want to eat. So right now they're defaulted to standard keto macros, although if you wanted to eat lower fat and higher protein, as long as your percentage adds up to 100, you know that you are eating complete macros. Maybe you want to go carnivore and perhaps do 80% of your calories from fat, 20% from protein, and zero carbs. Once again, as long as it adds up to 100, you're going to be good. So going back to the standard keto macros or the macros that I ate to lose weight it was 75, 20, and 5. So basically, what this is telling me is that of the 1600 calories that I'm going to be eating a day, 75% of those calories should come from fat. And 75% of 1600 is 1200, meaning that 1200 of my calories should come from fat. Of the 1600 calories I'm eating a day, 20% of those calories should come from protein. And that's 320 calories worth of protein. Of the 1600 calories I'm eating a day, 5% of those calories should come from carbs, and that comes to 80 calories. Next is a math calculation based on how many calories there are per gram of macronutrient. There are 9 calories per gram of fat. There are 4 calories per gram of protein, and there are 4 calories per gram of carbs. When we look at the back of food labels, they tell us how many grams of fat or protein or carbs are in things. So in order to calculate our macros, we need to know how many grams we should be eating a day. So I've calculated the number of fat calories divided by nine, the number of protein calories divided by four, and the number of carb calories divided by four. And ta-da, this gets you your macros. Basically, all it comes down to is if I am a five foot 10 woman, that weighs 180 pounds and I'm 33 years old, if I wanna eat at 1600 calories a day at the standard keto macros, that means that every day I need to shoot for 133 grams of fat, 80 grams of protein, and 20 grams of net carbs. So what that means is that all the food that I'm eating, when I'm tracking it and writing it down, the fat grams should add up to 133, the protein grams should add up to 80. And of course, we never want to go over 20 net carbs. If I ever want to play with my ratios, say I want to go a little bit higher fat, these numbers automatically adjust to tell me what my macro should be at these new ratios. Or as mentioned, when I start losing weight, I can recalculate my BMR 
let's say I lose 15 pounds, hi -o, and I'm now 165, but my birthday passed and I'm 34. So that's changed my BMR to 1,542 calories. So now I want my calorie target to be 1,500. When you enter your calorie target, the calculations are already done for you. Okay guys, that's it. That's all I got. That's all she wrote. That's all she calculated in Excel. Like that is literally what I do. I use this document every couple of weeks to recalculate my macros. I use it to experiment and to see what would happen if I decided to up my fat percentage, lower my fat percentage, up my protein, etc. I use this actual document and it has helped me lose over 70 pounds on the keto diet. It's available right now at www.watchautumnketo.com for you to download. And I would love for you to download it, use it, and let me know what you think. I love creating resources for you guys and I love creating things that I really think will help you along this journey just like they helped me. And the good thing about this calculator is that it's just Excel. If you're a whiz at Excel and you know how to build other formulas and you know how to duplicate sheets and do things like that, this is a good starting point for you to really just make this the exact resource and tool that you need. Something you could do is just copy the worksheet over and over again every two months or so or every time you change your macros so that you can actually look back and see a history of the macros you were eating at a certain time to see if they helped you reach a certain goal. This calculator is the gift that keeps on giving. I love it and I hope you love it too. Be sure to comment down below if you download it, if you play around with it. Let me know what you think, I really wanna know. Macros are easy once you realize what they stand for and what they represent. Basically, how many grams of fat, protein, and carbs should I eat every day to reach my goal, AKA lose weight. I'm so excited for you to try out the document. Once again, please download it. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at watchautumnketo at gmail.com or you can comment down below on this video and I will be sure to get back with you. Do you calculate your macros like this or do you use a completely different method? Comment down below and let me know, is there a particular link that you like to use to calculate your macros? Drop it in the comments. Other people can see that one as well. Once again, my way is not the only way. It's just the way that I use and the way that's helped me. I want you guys to have as many options as you can so you can find the one that works for you. Okay guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I'll see you in my next video.